She's always been weird about hornworms. Oh! Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today, I ended up grabbing two really big packs of some decently sized gummy worms. And not only that, I also ended up picking out my best eating tarantulas. So if you are looking for a species that is pretty much always going to have a good appetite, you're going to want to pay very close attention to the species in this video because I pretty much picked out every tarantula I have that eats every time. Aside from a couple, like there's like one or two that like aren't the best eaters, which I'll mention them when we get there, but they just needed to eat and I just wanted to show them in this video. But like 90% of these tarantulas are pretty much always hungry, always willing to eat. And so I just thought it would be a lot of fun. So let's just get right into this. Catch cup ready, just in case. You see how bolty this one is? This is my Lazadora Parabana. Let's try feeding her. Whoops. Well, that's not the best way to start off this video. Okay, so uh, we'll just we'll just move on. Okay, that's fine. This one's a Pamphibedius, so I know for sure it's going to eat. Check her out. Yeah. Whoa. This one will kick hair at me for like no reason. All right, let's do this. <laughs> yep. Awesome takedown. So this one is my tea apophathus or the pink foot bird eater And I feel like this thing has doubled in size since the last time you saw it. It's quite bolty, but ooh, now watch this <laughs> Incredibly fast looking so gorgeous now the trick here is that I need to also fill up the water dish so hopefully <laughs> All right, this is another one that I've had for a really long time. This is my A. Janiculata. And this girl has grown a lot. I'm pretty sure it's a girl. Let's give her a big worm. Perfect. Exactly what, what I wanted. Oh, wow. Yeah, as you see, she needs to be rehoused kind of soon, too. But yeah, I think it's time for a rehousing video really soon because there's a couple I'm noticing that like really need to get rehoused. Look at these worms trying to escape. <laughs> All right, so next let's get into a couple bigger ones. I do want to start off with my, we're going to feed my Brachypelma Smithy. Now she is not the best eater ever, but I did want to include her because she probably does need to eat and I think a hornworm would do her well. So like I said, she is a little picky, but I don't know, maybe she'll eat. Oh, awesome. And there she goes. I noticed her abdomen. It looks kind of weird. I think it's just because she's kicked off like a ton of hair. She's very bald at the bottom. I'm not really sure what's up with that. She's acting fine, so I'm not really concerned yet, but her abdomen does look kind of weird to me. Very possibly, though, just because she is a huge, notorious hair kicker. So this is my Toledo Cattle Vegans. Yes, she is the male eater here. Still no egg sac. Gotta be really careful with her. She is quite feisty. I'm gonna give her a really big one just in case she is gravid. She's thinking about it. <laughs> awesome, there she goes. I do need to give her a little bit of water. It's easier to give them water when they're distracted with food. So let's go ahead and try feeding my M. Balfouri. So you guys know this one is new and very bolty. So yeah, I just did a rehousing video for this one. And as you see, this is the area we've webbed up. I see some feet right there. I'm not sure how good you can see them, but I am going to have to take the lid all the way off for this one since this is where we made our little den. All right, so let's go ahead and try dropping in one of these worms. I think this would be a good size. I don't know. Oh, I think this is its first hornworm ever. So sometimes they really take a minute to decide if it's food or not before actually sinking their fangs into it. It's 
still thinking about it. Oh, 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 oh. All right, so this is my L striatopes, and as you see, I already have the worm in there because I thought I was filming and then I, I wasn't. <laughs> so yeah, but she is acting very scared of the worm right now, as you see. So I don't think she's going to eat on camera for us today. Do I think she's gonna eat it? Yeah. <laughs> Let's, oh geez. These worms keep falling out, they keep escaping. Let's do my green bottle blue. There she is, right on the edge. She usually will take a pretty big one. We'll do this one. Oh my gosh. Yeah, <laughs> you can literally throw a gummy worm and she will catch it every time. Okay, girl, you enjoy that. Another skittish one, but a great eater. So we'll try. I don't want her to run inside. She's running for cover. We don't want you to run in there though, I got food. There she goes. This is my Pamphibedius machala, female that I've raised myself. <laughs> like look at that pattern on her carapace, it is so pretty. And I will just give her a little bit of water. And then take advantage and wet this down while she's distracted. <laughs> okay, this is my S. Hoffmani. She is probably hungry. We'll give her a nice chunky one. Yep, headed in the right direction. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> yeah. There, she's got it now. Just wetting her enclosure down a little. Oh boy. I don't know how good we're gonna get this one on camera. This is my adult female E. Moranus or skeleton leg tarantula. Definitely one of my favorite species for sure. And let's see. I do see a paw, so she's probably going to be interested. Whew! There she goes! <laughs> Told you. She is like a badass. Like, very cool. And look at that enclosure. She just keeps webbing it up more and more, making it look even cooler. Like, I am just loving this. Hardest thing about it, though, is they constantly are webbing up their water dish. but there's not much you can really do about that. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna see this. This is my Xenthus Amenis and a crazy eater, like literally one of my best eaters, but super duper shy, much like my L. striatopes. Very skittish, likes to hide under this cork. So very unlikely that we're gonna catch this on camera. I couldn't exclude them out of this video because they are a very feisty tarantula when it comes to eating. Yeah, not surprised. Yeah, they're all the way back there. Ah, so unfortunate. This one also has a really cool carapace pattern. It's usually out, it's just as soon as I move the enclosure, it hides because it, it's scared. But yeah, Sarah Tagiris Darlingi. She's one of my good eaters. Here we go. There she goes, yes. Check out her horn on top. This is one of my favorite old world species, especially if you are a beginner getting into old worlds. I'm just gonna give her a quick spray. But one thing I like about this species is they do like it pretty dry. So it's nice not to have to feel like you have to like always stay on top of watering them. 
So I guess let's stick with the Ceratogyrus. I do have my Darlingi here with me as well. I saw her out and I figured she was probably hungry. I wouldn't say she's my best eater or among the best eaters, but since she was out and looked like she could eat, she's disappeared into her hole. She has a couple holes. There's one entrance. There's another, which is where I think she is. And then there's another, I guess like right there. Yeah, I really don't know where she went, so... Oh, 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 there she is, there she is. There she is. And as you see, she also has a horn, but hers is a little bit smaller. We are really... We have four left. Let's just keep going. Huh, who are we gonna do? I guess let's do Pikachu, because Pikachu recently molted. All right, we should do, like, a really big worm for her. Here's a big one. <laughs> She's always been weird about hornworms. Oh! Look how big her tooth is. Really thinking about it. Oh, there we go. It's a great takedown. Gonna actually offer her another just because she did just molt. Well, alrighty then. Oh. I'm gonna be so sore after moving all these enclosures. I'm telling you that now on record. Moving that away, cause the next ones we have are in quite large enclosures. So this one is Clover. She is my Anthoscaria geniculata. A great eater, very skittish, very hair kicky. So I'm just gonna be real careful opening that. Here we go. Oh, no, all right, we'll try again. No, who are you? Okay, well, all right, do you feel outnumbered? Should I take one away? Hmm, I wonder if a molt is coming. So second from last, we have Bruja, my Brachypoma erratum. I tried to feed her the other day, and as soon as I opened the door, she started kicking hair at me, so I just said mission abort. There she goes. You're supposed to eat it. There we go. Okay, so that leaves us with one more, which is Zelda, who has unfortunately decided to hide.
right, so like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're not, and you want to be. Don't forget I have an Instagram that is probably way too much. It's at Tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring. It is all linked down below. And I will see you guys soon. Let's get into the Patreon pet picks.